Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be working on a 4L60E separator plate. We're going to repair the plate. Uh, the problem with this plate is that check balls have been uh, aggressively peening and wearing out their seat locations here on the plate. Uh, particularly the one-two check ball is really bad with this, with these transmissions. As you can see here, it's significantly wider than um, it was from the factory. Uh, this hole is also worn out, as is this one. So there's a kit you can buy. Um, it's made by Fitzall. And what it basically is, is a uh, package of repair sleeves and, you know, little retaining rings or snap rings. And what you do is you drill out each of the holes that are worn you know, take a quarter inch drill bit and drill out each of these holes. So here, here, and here, and here, we're gonna repair four holes today on this plate. And then once they're drilled out, you know, you clean them up, get rid of any burrs or, you know, whatever. And then you insert the steel sleeves from the underside. And then you install the little keeper or snap ring and that will fix this plate permanently. And you'll never have to worry about uh, the ball wearing into the plate because especially with the one two, if it uh, actually sticks into the plate, then you're gonna have either one two bind ups or tie ups or really harsh one two shifts. So you, you obviously wanna avoid that. Uh, the alternative to this is spending like 25 or 30 bucks for a transgo plate. And I mean, that's fine too, no big deal. But this gives you kind of a more budget oriented alternative and it will last a very long time. Uh, the other recommendation I'd make is when you go back with it, or even if you're not doing this, uh, you know, the, your plate's fine, I would swap out all of the quarter inch steel check balls for Torlon check balls. And again, you'll never have to worry about the plate wearing in or the ball sticking into the plate like what was about to happen with this particular plate. Okay. Now, I know I said we're going to do four. I'm actually going to repair all of them. All right, so I'm gonna clean these uh, locations up, as you can see on the back. There's, you know, uh, burrs and material, you wanna get rid of that. If I can see, get that to focus. All right, stand by. All right, got everything as cleaned up as possible. So now we're going to go ahead and install the little sleeves. You want to lay your plate face down. And then I'm normally not repairing this many at a given time, so I'll have to, you know, kind of get things arranged here, but what you want to try to do is get everything situated so that you have the uh, retaining ring groove, and I'll probably do these just two or three at a time. Make it easier. Okay, so situated like that. I'll zoom in. And then just take a a little keeper. Position them like so. And then, that one's no good. Use a screwdriver to seat them into that groove on the sleeve.
So once this repair is done, there's pretty much nothing else you would have to do with this plate at any point going forward. Like I said, just twirling check balls and um, and then drill your feed holes out as you need to. And I think I may need to find another little retainer because this one might be yeah, this one's no good. So I want to say these these kits are about five bucks, if I'm not mistaken, five six bucks. And each kit will do an entire separator plate for a 4L60E or a 700R4. In most cases, you're only going to need to repair one or two um, check ball locations, but in a case like this, I mean, you know, it's pretty rare that I see the plate so severely mangled that I need to install five uh, repair sleeves, but you know, sometimes it happens that way. Okay, so that's the Fitzall um, separator plate repair kit. Um, these sleeves will pretty much last forever, like I was saying, and um, you know, five six bucks, and you know, you you have, in most cases, you're gonna have enough to do at least two to anywhere from two to four separator plates. All right, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. Otherwise. Uh, thank you, as always, so much for watching, and we will catch you on the next video.